Hello everybody. Um, as I promised to myself, um, pretty much any time I record a Russian video, I'm going to try to follow it with an English video and vice versa. Um, so I recorded a pretty terrible video about a spiritual pain, a spiritual hunger, and spiritual path. So I want to follow that with the English version, with an English version, which is what this is. So what's, what is a spiritual pain? Um, strictly speaking, is when you feel really restricted by the thought forms around you, the thoughts that um, surround you, uh, that is the beliefs, the culture, the personalities around you, and your own personality, your own mind, ego personality, to use a term I used in my second book. So it's a strange kind of pain um, because um, it's the most abstract pain that you can have. So if you have a toothache, that's um, fairly easy to identify here. If you have a heartache, emotional pain, or someone hurt you emotionally, uh, for many people it's difficult to pinpoint where that is. Um, spiritual pain is even harder because it's much more abstract. It's a, it's a pain uh, that is not uh, within your personality. It's like a, some kind of strange, amorphous discomfort that, uh, you know, that people feel. And when you really identify it, you realize that you have had enough uh, being in human society, being a human being, you want to cast away all these uh, different rules, uh, conventions, um, culture, religious beliefs and stuff like that. Um, it manifests when you recognize that you are in spiritual pain, it manifests itself as spiritual hunger. You're looking for something deeper, looking for something less artificial, less on the surface, more uh, deeper. Um, and um, you start searching uh, for, for that. And usually for most people, uh, they go to the place which is most convenient, i.e. to the local New Age bookstore, to a church or to a, um, I don't know, some class. And these things are okay, um, but if you really search deeper, you'll see that uh, what you want is something that is going to help you to become free of yourself. In other words, uh, on your movement from small self to bigger self to the self of the big S, uh, you want to somehow get rid of uh, your small self. By the way, you cannot get rid of your small self. If you do, you'll die and you will not have the vehicle for the spiritual path. So that path from small self to big self is the spiritual path. And the way it goes around is that uh, um, you start doing some kind of contemplative practice. If you have true spiritual hunger, this contemplation will naturally happen to you. You will naturally start reading the right books, um, some kind of spiritual books, biographies maybe of spiritual people, maybe you will read some scripture, um, maybe you will read um, about other people's journey, um, say in some kind of fictionalized form. The journey will always be individual because um, every person has their own uh, um, issues to deal with, but it's always about having a good look at yourself and the first thing that happens when you have a good look at yourself um, which is basically what the meditation of one form or another is about having a good look at what's real and what's not um, you see what a mess you are and one thing I said in the, in the Russian video is that most of us live in a democratic society uh, where we have elections and we try to uh, try to rule by consensus in our heads generally we do not have a democracy we tend to have uh, some kind of autocracy some kind of monarchy and that monarch that king inside our head tends to be a despot tends to be a tyrant and if you look at how you deal with yourself you're probably going to see that you're not very loving towards yourself 
people many times are more loving towards others uh, than towards themselves. Um, and that's a good start uh, because if you're so uh, you know, uptight inside and you're trying to say don't do this and do that and you try to order yourself around, um, well, mm, relaxing that is a good idea. Um, we seg here into uh, my famous um, uh, key vortex, which appears pretty prominently in my uh, book, uh, Modern Serious Vortices, uh, and that is about relax, enjoy, and do something useful. Um, if you follow that, you will pre go pretty nicely on your spiritual path, at least initially. So it's about relaxing into who you really are the best you can. Then if you do that, it will be a lot easier than to enjoy whatever you want to, whatever present moment you're in to enjoy that. And then because we're all, you know, we are um, at least in theory, action oriented, if you do something useful, that's going to carry you over through experience to the next step on your life in your life one last thing i'm going to say is that one huge difference between spiritual path and all other paths is that spiritual path is entirely action based there is very very little thinking that uh, should go into spiritual path if you want to do something go and do it so if you want to be on a spiritual path because you feel spiritual pain and spiritual hunger sit on your rear end and do meditation and don't worry about whether you're doing it correctly or incorrectly because what you need to do is to start. So, thank you for listening. Subscribe. Please comment whether you speak only English and you don't know Russian so that I can do more English-based videos. And please share. I like when people share my stuff. Take care. Nice talking to you all.